Hi everyone, I'm Cal Spriggs. In this video, I'm going to show you how I got all of my Dark Elf Cold One chariots based and painted for Warhammer The Old World. I've sort of been saving my Dark Elf chariots because honestly, on the one hand I was a little afraid to get started on them, on the other I was also excited to get started on them. Um, I've done a little bit of conversion with these guys, um, two of them are are uh, are converted anyway. The third one I got uh, just before Warhammer Fantasy uh, went the way of the Dodo, so it was in a, a pretty rough shape when I got it. And I'd actually originally bought all three chariots um, for the cold ones, um, for the old kind of derpy look looking cold one, which I used for my Imperial Guard Rough Riders, which also went the way of the Dodo. Uh, around the same time actually I want to say but getting them out um, I, I got them glued together these are the old old metal um, dark elf chariots I think these guys are all um, over 25 years old at this point I want to say 97 so yeah we're, we're pushing on 27 years or so at this point and as you can see, I've done some conversions. I had uh, a couple Lord of the Rings um, pewter models that I, I used for some of the passengers. Um, this one I wanted to have converted up a little bit. Um, I used a dark Eldar helmet, actually, I want to say, for this guy. And uh, it's a Gothmog um, pewter model um, that I I'd, I'd bought for the, the warg, actually for my space wolves but for uh, this guy I wanted him to look the, the part of either a um, lord or just kind of a, a semi-important chariot driver so got him uh, converted up and then of course there's making bases now I went with a plank style uh, 3d printed bases for my um, infantry and I wanted to match that, but I also didn't have a good template to 3D print um, chariot size bases. So I figured I'd scratch build these, sort of, so, so to speak. I, I took some um, stirrer sticks. I've got a, a box of like a thousand of these. And I just started laying them down like I would um, planking. And my thought pattern with this is, yes, it's it's kind of silly to see the the planking on the on the battlefield, but... In reality, these guys are using um, using their stuff off of their ships. So they're a maritime force. They're maritime raiders. So it only makes sense that they are, uh, yeah, using their chariots on their vast uh, ships. They have their black arcs that that sail across the world. They fight battles on those. Um, so it makes sense that they are are based with sort of their plank basing so and then putting these together was super easy uh, the hardest part was my uh, super glue bottle the tip had broken off but as you can see I, I got it knocked out and then once I got them finished I just uh, let that glue dry and then hit it with a wash of Agrax Earthshade and this darkened the wood up very nicely made it look kind of you know more like wood versus uh a little bit more weathered versus the the kind of fresh uh, pale uh, pine color that you get from the stir sticks and I like this as well because it, it pulled out some of the wood grains so it, it just looked more realistic right for scale um, after that I, I took some uh, some silver and I went through and I painted all the armor on these guys um, this went pretty quickly um, there's a, a lot of detail on the uh, Lord of the Rings model that I used. Um, one thing I did like about it was it had a very uh, jagged sort of look to it, which matched uh, really well with the Dark Eldar, or sorry, Dark Elf aesthetic. I really like the, the over-the-head spears that these uh, spear riders have, or chariot riders have. Um, they they fit in, in well, and it, it kind of makes sense. They're, you know, fending fending the infantry off from the sides and flanks of their uh, cold ones while their um, lord kind of directs the battle. 
So painting these again, fairly simple. I I didn't go too heavily detailed. You can see the couple of the painted cold ones to the side there. And what I'd actually done with these cold ones and, and with all three chariots was um, I had cold ones that were the new style, or sorry, new -er style that looked more uh, like Velociraptors versus the sort of derpy older ones. Um, and I, I used those newer style ones to, to go with the, uh, the chariots. With the uh, infantry on, or the chariot riders and with the chariots themselves, again, I went with that kind of bright red. And I actually uh, went with contrast painting for the, the chariot bodies themselves because that allowed me to, to get that vibrant red color that I wanted. And you'll see also I'll, I'll go through with some other colors and it, it really, I think it allowed me to get a lot of the detail. And that's one thing a lot of people down talk with a lot of the older pewter models is, you know, they, they complain about the detail or they complain about the weight. But, I mean, you look at these these models and these chariots are, like I said, almost 30 years old, but you still have a tremendous level of detail on these. And it, I just, I love the look of them. They, they look, you know, just kind of wicked and, and, and scary and terrifying. And uh, especially once you get them with the... Uh, cold ones and and the riders on them uh i i loved going through and, and picking out with the the contrast paint picking out the details and making this whole thing kind of come to life um yeah it was it was actually a lot, a lot of fun to paint these uh all three chariots it, it went pretty quick i got them done in an afternoon so but uh, picking out the little details with the contrast paint was actually really easy like i said um, yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. Um, once I had the, the red on, I went back through, um, and again, I used Space Wolf Gray for a lot of the metal components, so the spear tips, the blades, that sort of thing. I like what I'm doing contrast paint. I like how it's sort of a non-metallic metal look to it. And I can touch that up with silver or something else if I feel like it needs it. But again, these are the bad guys, right? Even though I'm using bright colors for them, even though I'm using um, sort of out of the ordinary colors for them, I do like that more muted metal look for them because it, again, it looks darker and, and does not look as, as vibrant. For the, the trim on this, I went with... Um, Nadrag yellow, I believe it is, uh, contrast paint. And over the gray that I'd painted these uh, chariots initially, primed these chariots initially, it again popped really well, makes, makes it look like gold. And uh, I ended up with, a, I think, a really unique effect for my chariots. They don't look like the standard, you know, dark purple and black and everything that, that you see a lot for... Uh, dark elf stuff in general they look you know very stark and striking and I, I like that because half of a paint job should be to catch the eye and again the nice thing with contrast paints it's, it allows you to pull out those details and, and almost let the model talk for itself so to speak I went with a real s simple thing for the the base of the uh, chariot where the riders stand it's uh it looks like it's the skin of a cold one so they've, they've got a cold one pulling it and then on top of that they're uh, using the skin of, of maybe a less voluntary cold one um for the wheels of uh this one chariot i had not swapped out the wheels um so i i went with just wood uh, on this one but the other two chariots I used uh, wheels that I'd gotten um, I want to say for, for a Shrine of Cain or something like that um, so and then I painted the inside of the chariot wood so that it's it looks like lacquered wood with uh, golden trim here it is with uh, two cold ones and the chariot itself assembled and on the base and here they are all three uh, like I said I'm really pleased with how these guys turned out uh, turns out I'm actually short two of the, the modern style 
cold ones, so if anyone has spares, please hit me up in the comments. I would love to buy them off you. Um, but all in all, really pleased with how they turned out. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear any comments, suggestions, or ideas for improving my painting. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.